G'day guys, Skullmorph here, continuing on with the uh, install of the APS gearbox in the Wells M4i1. I thought now that I've got the gearbox back together, um, I'll show you a couple of things that I have done to uh, make it a pretty comfortable uh, install. So, as you can see here, I've removed the um, I've removed the piece of tin that is the the recoil slash blowback type function of this um, of this gearbox, which I didn't really feel necessary. Um, it's just one more moving part. They can probably cause me some grief down the track or something that'll need to be replaced. So I took that off. Um, when you open the gearbox, there's a spring that's attached to it. That'll, that's just hooked on, um, sort of just in there. When you open the gearbox, it'll come, it'll unlatch from that, that section of the gearbox. Um, what I've also done is here the um, the amp ambidextrous uh, select fire, I believe it is. I have removed that. Um, that way, it'll just slot in nice and easy in the receiver. Um, I'm a I'm a righty, so I don't really feel I need that. It's not necessary for me. Um, here you can see I've put the um, the mag terminals in, um, where my wiring now comes out of the gearbox runs neatly along and then is soldered sorry continuing on runs neatly along and then is soldered to uh, the mag terminal point plates just there um, now you'll probably notice this I know that um, Mr. Guido Low Guido's Chop Shop absolute legend he's doing a an unboxing and an install already um, I'm just being impatient and um, wanted to have a go at doing mine rather than waiting for him to um, show me the correct way of doing things. Uh, what I did notice, thanks to um, Logue Widow's Chop Shop, his YouTube channel, is that when he put the gearbox into his receiver, um, wired it up and, and went to change the fire modes, he um, it jammed up. Now, he, I'm sure he'll quickly figure out why. Um, what I found was... Um, if you see just where my thumb is here, that there is now an oval shape. I've actually filed that piece of plastic um, down so it it sits a touch deeper. Now standard, I didn't unfortunately I didn't show you what it was prior to me doing that, but um, standard, if you can see the this little fucking I need to, need to hands here. Um, long story short. It was it wasn't such a deep uh, semicircle, so I filed it down because when with the Wells receiver, when you adjust the uh, the fire select, it wants to push this whole gearbox and well more so this little black slide. It wants to push it higher, um, and it didn't have the room. So as you go and try and change the uh, fire select, it would then jam up and push right up against the top of this piece of plastic, um, this slider. Um, and then due to that, when this is obviously all locked in your receiver with pins and things, it's not going anywhere. So, um, if so facto, the fire select just jams up. So I filed that out so it's a touch deeper. It was about where my thumb is sitting now. And now it's obviously uh, a bit higher. So I've placed it in the receiver and I've put the bolts in it and it seems to work fine. So hopefully that fixes that little issue. Um, Again, the other thing I did, thanks to Mr. Guido, is um, this little plate that you place on the gearbox. It sits, if you can see, just there. It sits a touch out from the side of the gearbox. So you can actually get this gearbox into the receiver if you if you just bend the receiver open a little bit. Um, but he recommended, which is probably a better thing to do, um, I'll get the receiver here. Is just to um, just file this little section here. You can see where I've filed it. So just file that little section. Look at his YouTube uh, video. He'll show exactly where he's filed it as well. And it it um, it just allows that gearbox then to slot right in nice and neatly. And it's a perfect snug fit. So um, that's about all I had to show you at this current point in time. And um, the next little portion of the video, I will hopefully have it uh, 
in the blaster and doing a test fire. Thanks guys, cheers for watching, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on another time.